Not sure how to prepare a site plan? Don't worry, you're not alone. We've developed this video to guide you through the process of preparing a site plan. However, before we can start, please ensure that you have the following information. Firstly, Certificate of Title. Your Certificate of Title identifies the boundary dimensions of your property. The plan attached to the Certificate of Title will be used as a reference point when developing your site plan. For a fee, you can get a copy of the title from the government website www.saailis.sa.gov.au It's important that you purchase the second page of the title, which is the plan for, of your property. A special search needs to be formed to receive a copy of this plan. Secondly, dimensions of all structures located on your property. Your site plan will need to include this information. Using a tape measure, spend some time measuring all structures located on your property. Thirdly, location of any regulated trees within 15 metres of the proposed building. If you're not sure what a regulated tree is, please pause this video and spend a few minutes reviewing the tree information on this website. Fourthly, your trustee scale ruler. You can't draw a site plan without a ruler. Use your certificate of title as a reference in the preparation of your site plan. Although not essential, we recommend that you use graph paper to prepare your plan. Graph paper is ready to scale, which make it easier to prepare your scaled site plan. If you don't have any graph paper, don't worry. You can download some paper from our website. It's now time to add the bar scale to your plan. The scale plan is important as it allows the planners to confirm dimensions displayed on your plan and also provides an accurate picture of the size of your development relative to other structures on the property. Remember your plan will need to be drawn to the nominated scale. Here are some important things to think about when selecting a scale for your drawing. One, the larger the scale, the larger the plan. Consider the size of your block. Will the scale you select fit on one page? Secondly, think about the amount of information you need to display on your plan. Remember, a smaller scale will make the plan more difficult to read. Thirdly, pick a standard scale. We recommend a scale of one to 100. One centimetre equals one metre. Or one to 200, one centimetre equals two metres for a standard size allotment. For larger allotments, the scale of one to 500 or one centimetre equals five metres may be acceptable. If you are still unsure on how to interpret a scale, refer to the useful links on this website. Refer to your certificate of title to draw your allotment boundaries. Remember to draw your allotment according to the scale you have nominated. The dimensions you add should also reflect the scale used. Use the information previously gathered and draw the location of all other structures located on your property. Remember to draw all dimensions to scale. Remembering the scale of your site plan, accurately draw the location of the building you are proposing to build, together with dimensions of the setbacks of the building from allotment boundaries. As displayed in this video, you will only need to show the relevant setbacks. In this example, as the shed is to be located in the rear yard, front setbacks are not relevant and therefore not shown. For new buildings, include a notation or illustrate how roof water from the new building will be disposed of. Show the location of any regulated trees in close proximity to your development. It should also include any regulated trees located on neighbouring properties. Any regulated tree located 15 metres or more from the building need not be shown. Just remember, there's no such thing as too much information. Please add any other information that you feel may assist with the assessment of your application.